Hello to all my Padawans, I'm your Jedi Master today, and I would like to welcome you guys back to Uncovering Star Wars Lore. Now, this episode is going to be part two of the Revan video. So, this episode is going to cover briefly what happens in Knights of the Republic. I'm going to summarize it really fast. If you guys want to know more about Knights of the Republic, uh, obviously, I will leave a link to uh my commentated and uncommentated series and somebody else's series that has finished it as i am currently in the process of playing it if you guys want to know more as well as the link to my source will always be in the description box below go ahead and check it out if you want to learn more so after revan, revan was nearly killed in bastila kept him alive with the little bit of life left through the force they were forever bonded and uh she took him to the jedi council where they debated about what to do and uh, what they should do with revan should they keep him alive should they kill him should they use him as a prisoner of war what should they do they ended up coming to the judgment that they should wipe his mind and program him with the identity of a Republic soldier, and then proceeded to station him aboard the Endar Spire. Now, this Republic soldier identity of Revan's was born in Darla, Darla, a remote system, and the Outer Rim was, he said that his age was about the same age that Revan was at the time, which was in his 30s, and he was just an average everyday Republic soldier. However, Malik uh, was now the leader of the Sith Empire and attacked Indar Spire above Terrace in attempts to capture Bastila. Now, throughout the game, you as Revan land on Terrace, you look for Bastila, you find Bastila. Bastila realizes that you have a force sensitivity, brings you in front of the council, you get trained to become a Jedi, and then it, you have to find out uh, what Revan and Malik found. You have to search for all the star maps which lead to the Star Forge, which is a super weapon of some sort that is able to create limited, unlimited amounts of troops and weapons and armor and droids and all that kind of stuff. And you have to find it after going to each of the planets, finding all the star maps. You eventually end up along the Leviathan, and Malik reveals that you are, in fact, Darth Revan. And then Bastila gets fights him off so that you can escape. And then you go to the final planet and onto the Star Forge. Only to f uh, onto the Star Forge, but before you get there, you crash on this unknown planet that's controlled, that's uh, populated by these creatures called Rakata, who are apparently the founders that built the Star Forge. You have to disable the disruptor field in order to get off the planet. They help you get into the thing after you help them out. The disruptor field goes down, but you find out that Bastila has turned to the dark side. You attempt to convert her, and then you go, and then y'all fly to the Star Forge where you can either kill her or you can decide to. Uh, canonically, you should. Uh, protest your love to her you then go on to defeat Darth Malak okay so after all that happened Revan earned the cross of glory and ended the Jedi Civil War Revan then proceeded to marry Basla and kind of fell off the map for several years until for some weird reason he had visions of some sort of threat that it was from his past and this led him to believe that the galaxy was at risk so Revan left Bastila who was pregnant at the time and uh, to search for answers Revan then figured out he discovered vice Sith Empire and was captured and imprisoned. Back in the main systems, the revenants of the Sith Empire, now being led by Darth Treya, also known as Kreia, was purging the Jedi Order and brought to the brink of extinction until Mitra Surik, uh, 
Exiled Jedi and former protege of Revan's destroy the entire Sith Empire. Now, we'll have another video where I'm going to be talking about Mitra, so make sure to check that out. Mitra sought out Revan and rescued him with the help of a Sith Lord named Scourge. And then the three of them attempted to kill the Emperor and failed. Revan was then put in a sort of stasis for 300 years. His mind was ravaged and 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 looked at and poked at and just tort he was tortured by Vitate. But while Vitae was doing this, Revan influenced the Emperor to amplify his fear of death and tampering with his hatred, effectively keeping the Sith from invading the galaxy for God knows how many years. But finally, war bro broke out, and Revan used his mind to influence and manipulate Vitae into ending the war with the Treaty of Coruscant before the Sith were victorious. And then tensions between Jedi and Sith were ever rising and Revan was finally freed by Republic forces and took control of the Foundry, an ancient space station that constructed numerous extermination droids, kind of like the Star Forge, that would help destroy the Empire. But Revan ended up dying by an Imperial Strike team before he could ever do anything. However, whenever Revan was being tortured by Viatate, his mind had split into two. The lighter half of him became one with the Force, while the darker half rejected death and went out to destroy the Emperor. Viatate had actually already died, but his Force spirit was still intact. So Revan was pl playing on resurrecting him and just so that he could kill him permanently. Then the Empire and Republic found out his plans and they joined forces in order to stop him, fearing that him doing this would only bring destruction. So Revan's light side half of his mind helped in defeating the dark side of his mind on Yavin 4. And the Emperor was able to return with fully intact in strength. The two halves of Revan merged in peace and finally died. Revan's influence did not die there. It continued for many, many, many thousands and thousands of years. And shaped the force and military. And even the Sith Lord Bane discovered Revan's Sith Holocron and use its teachings to destroy the Brotherhood of Darkness and come about with the Rule of Two, which ended up paving the way for Darth Sidious and the Galactic Empire. So, that is the history of Revan after his memory was wiped. It's a lot longer and it's a lot uh, more intact because um, there's a lot more that he did considering the last uh, part of his life was over the course of several hundred years but anyway i want to thank you everybody so much for watching if you enjoyed this please give it a like it does help out a lot tell a friend today about my stars channel it's pretty awesome may the force be with you always